In this video, I'm going to show you how we can edit text in an image inside of Canva. Because quite often when we generate images with AI and we put text in the prompt, it'll create text that's either spelt wrong or it's just gobbledygook across the image. And then we think, oh, that's a shame. I'm not proficient in Photoshop to change it. I've got to bin that image and I'm just wasting credits. Most of the time we can change that text in Canva. So keep watching. I'm going to show you how and also some design tips and hacks to really polish those images. So let's jump into Canva. So I created this image and I thought that was really cute, but it's supposed to say bookaholic. It's going to be a PNG design for on a t-shirt or to sublimate on a mug or for print on demand products, even digital products, downloads. It could be used as clip art. It's got hundreds of uses. Plus, it's a really pretty design. So inside of Canva, if you've got Canva Pro, we can use the Magic Studio. And if you're serious about creating designs, then Canva Pro really is a must because we can do so much inside of here. So I would click on that image, I would go to edit and across here inside of your Magic Studio you've got various things. So we will go to grab text. That then grabs the text in this image and I can click on whichever one I want to change. So for instance that one, click the grab. That's now going to allow me to change that word. Now it's going to give you the text that it thinks is the nearest to that text that was on the image. If you don't like that, you can obviously change it and use something like Recoleta. See what it looks bold. And then we can change the colour if we want. So now we've got our text. Now this text here next. Click the edit button. Again, grab text. It's going to search for that text where there's text in that image. Grab that. And now it's, it's found the text, but it's not actually removed it. So if we just put that there for a second, let's click on the image again. Click edit. Go to Magic Eraser, make the brush smaller, and then we're going to rub this out. We're going to get rid of it. And click the Erase. And we can do that again if we're not just happy with it. You might have to do it a couple of times just to get rid of the background. And let's decide that we want to call that Unbound, or whatever the book's called. And add that in. And you can play around with that till you, you get it the right size and in the right place. Now for this here, let's try the grab text again, but I think that we'll have ex exactly the same. Let's grab it. And yet yeah, we'll have exactly the same. So let's try the magic edit and see what this does. Okay, so you could either leave that like that because it wouldn't be too bad. That wouldn't actually ruin the image. However, if you want that to blend in and look more like these books here, then what I personally would do is screenshot one area, which would be this section here. I would screenshot it. I would then drop that into Canva. Click on it to bring it into my design. and I will make it fit in there. That way it looks like it's part of the book, 
and we don't have to bin this design. So we don't need that text now, we can get rid of that. Now what else have we got in here that doesn't look right? These things here don't just look right. So let's go to Magic Edit and get rid of these. Let's see what happens with this. So I would then probably get rid of these little bits as well. and just keep playing around with it until you get them removed. now you've got a design that's usable all your text is correct I would remove the background and then download it as a PNG with a transparent background and now I'll show you another one quickly this really cute design but as you can see, that needs a Y on the end, so to become they. So I would click on the design, got the purple box around it, click the edit, again across to grab the text. Now this text isn't going to be in Canva and there's a few different kind of fonts there, so we'll see what it does. So click on it, click the grab. And there it's done. Not a bad job. We can use that. Now we could still put that in there like that and that would be fine, absolutely fine. Now you may not want these bits in here so if not we move the text, click on the edit again, cross to Magic Eraser and then let's just get rid of these bits and that should blend into the background then and any other bits of imperfections that we don't particularly like. Click Erase. And that should give us a clear canvas now, which it does, ready to just move our text there. And again, we can change the colour, do whatever we want with that. So some quick hacks there to edit the text in your designs and also just to polish your designs off. Go and watch this video now where I show you how to resize a Tumblr app or any image inside of Canva. You can do that quickly and easily. And also this video to turn your designs into digital products fast that you can sell or for your own use. I'll see you in the next one.